So, disclaimer about this video, um, it is really hot in my room right now, and it's just been hot in general all day, so if you hear a whirring sound in the background, that's my air conditioner unit going off. Yeah, or my fan, whichever. Yeah, whichever, because, um, summertime, fun, f fun, fun to have 80 to 90 to possibly 100 degree we weather, but... Here we are with a demonstration, Somewhere regardless. In Texas here, so yeah. Welcome to guaranteed low nineties, if not hundred degree weather. <laughs> yeah, welcome to actually being broiled alive. Anywho, uh, <laughs> we are playing demos. We are on demonstration, and we're playing the tarnishing tarnishing of Juxtia. I I might be pronouncing that name wrong. I don't know. It's like Juxtia or Juxia. Or Yusia? Yusia? X and, X and T would probably make a hard sound. That's what I'm saying. Juxtia. Okay. Well, either way, I spotted this game a while back uh, through Twitter, and I thought it looked really cool, and I found it on Steam, and I was like, okay, I'll give this a wish list. Not expecting an, at all that it would get a demo. Uh, so it getting a demo was a real present, pleasant surprise for me. So we're going to give this one a go. Huh. So yeah, um, it's from what I've seen, it is another of our of my flavor of game that is being gothic horror Metroidvania, uh, and this one happens to be sprite based, which is also a big weakness of mine. Like them bitty boppies. All right, what have we got here? Ah, gonna. Sure. Hold on, I'm gonna change something if I can. Options, controller. <clears throat> what the hell? Why do you have interact on the D pad? Well, your map is up on the D pad, so they. Why do you have interact and map each? on the. Wait, why can't I actually. Wait, I can't adjust the move controls? Looks like you can't. That's gonna be tied to the stick. And mm. they're using the D-pad as an input device. Mmm. I don't know how to feel about that. It is an odd choice, but it is one that has been made by many people. Yeah. Use brand, switch brand, heal. Because the thing about my my deal, as as I've stated before on this channel, is that I like to uh, I like to have 2D games be controllable with the D-pad. I just feel it gives a better sense of precision. It does, no doubt. It's actually probably why I like playing so many of the 2D games with WASD. You know, I'm literally just tapping a key and I'm moving a pixel. So if I hold the key, I run. It, it feels nice. Right. It's just... It's it's a preference thing. I understand for some they'd probably be fine with um, the valley above was overtaken by the tarnishing years ago. Oh my God! It's the mold. It's the mold from that Cowboy Bebop episode. Yes. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, go watch the Netflix adaptation. <laughs> oh God! No! 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 <laughs> No, oh, yeah, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. I wouldn't want a mal the, the the Geneva Convention would probably find it as a form of inhumane torture to have somebody be Malcolm McDowell, the Netflix adaptation of Cowboy Bebop. It was bad, but I don't know if it's that bad, man. I don't know. To some, it's to some, it is that bad. Maybe even worse. Okay, so. So the combat's pretty weighty in the way of like, okay, you're committed to your actions. There's no like, yeah. There's no immediate roll canceling out of things. Yeah, you you make the swing, you're gonna swing. The brand marker. Aha! New face wanders into the forlorn sanctum, a rather dreary place to be exploring. But you're no sickened wanderer seeking to flee the tarnishing, are you? No, no. You are quite a bit more unique. I can feel it in your aura, through the very specks writhing through the air around you. 
Oh, cool. Hmm. I've been waiting for someone like you, unique one. I have power for you. Knowledge of spellcraft, or speckcraft. Uh, the art of forming the ethereal into the physical. The first of many, should you continue to seek me out. Ah, uh, go on, give me your hand. No need to be afraid. Pulls you in and gives you a wet like willy. There we are. Good, good. Taking to the bindings quite well, I see. Now go, go now, unique one. I'm sure, I'm quite sure this won't be the last time we meet. Okay, so I now have I like him a, lot. a bolt. Nice. Uh, so now you got a little range, too. Oh, wait, I'm trying to figure out the stamina bar here. So my stamina bar tends to go down just slightly and it's like at a fixed part there. That's weird. All right, what have we got here? I don't know, maybe there's like a food system in here mm. and you'll need to eat to stay afloat. Maybe? I Honestly, I have no idea. Ooh! I'm gonna try a spear out. Swap sword. And we just got some armor. Spear does more damage, but maybe has no piercing ability. Oh, I like it. Also, that armor looks really good. Yeah. I mean, it's probably the box that art armor for a reason. <laughs> Okay, so if you're low enough on stamina, you just straight up won't attack. Okay. So that's something. So I guess that's where the magic also comes in, because magic doesn't cost stamina. Uh, so at least you can do that for so long as you have MP. Yeah. So it's not like a Dark Souls situation where you, um... Where even if you have, like, one bit of stamina, you could still attack. Excuse me. Energy rush, temporarily increased to mana and stamina regeneration. Aha, I can air dodge. Or I can air roll. Which I which I realize is not really something you can do in a physical capacity, but... Hey, it's good in games. Also, I like that the spear allows you to pierce through enemies with its length and yeah. damage both of them. Yes, because, you know, that's what a spear most likely would be able to do. And physically speaking, not not usually. If you stuck a man that deep, like good luck pulling it out after stabbing the second man. The amount of resistance there. Oof. But also, dang, you strong. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, that is pretty actually. And who is this sitting on the stone sharpening their spear? Don't know, but I want to check left here. Because if there's okay. anything that I've learned from Metroidvanias from the amount of times I've played them is... You usually check left first. Lil... Okay, Lilith. Greetings, there, knight. It's surprising to see someone alive and unplagued out here. My name is Lilith. I am a knight of St. Trallium's Bro Border Guard, the last of my order. My brothers in arms all fell to the tarnishing after our lord was sealed in his keep. Now there's only me, upholding my order's oath on my own. A heavy burden, to be sure, and I... And one I cannot fulfill so long as this door remains closed. There must be some way in once I've had a moment to rest. I'll set off again and try to find it. Of course, I'd not mind a helping hand if you're able. And a dagger. I want you... Let's take a look at that, actually. Ooh, that's sexy. I actually like that a lot. I'm gonna give that a go for a little bit. Okay. Probably doesn't do as much damage, but the speed is nice. Cleanse your well, bindings and cool. there's stats on there when you're looking at what weapon you're switching to. You can tell what it does. Oh, that's a nice transition for that. That's pretty cool. 
Okay, so, so... Yes, Dagger does 36 damage per hit. Not just that, but it's 36 slashing, so there's, like, different forms of physical attack <laughs> yeah, there's from the seemingly weapons. seemingly a slash and a pierce. Yeah. And you only get one type of damage. Unless you have the sword, which has both slash and pierce. Yeah. I don't know if that's, like, circumstantial based on if someone is armored or not, but hard to say. Oh, enemies have a arm like a posture meter. Okay. Okay, so enemies have a posture meter that be a little more agile if you're using that thing. Yeah. Okay, so that was just those guys. And it looks like I have three uses of bandages to heal myself up. Which is good to know. What's this? It is a great sword. Um Okay, so so it's just slashing. It does more than any other weapon you have. Oh, it's not just a great sword. That's an executioner's blade. And it only has and it can only be swung once. Yeah, that's an executioner's blade. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a strength build in Dark Souls. Pretty much. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. Hmm. But, I prefer the speed of the dagger or the spear. Just trying to... Th uh, let's go back to the spear. Because I imagine if there's different damage types in the games, in, in with the uh, weapons, I imagine there's enemies that are weaker uh, or stronger against those uh, aforementioned damage types. Probably, yeah. Hunter's Garb. Uh, uh, that's what? probably how you do, like, your stamina builds. Yeah, uh, SP goes up. Yeah. But defense goes down, so you probably don't use as much energy... I mean, your gloves yeah, you have more... probably are better to be switched. Probably better to switch from gauntlets to gloves. Yeah. it doesn't change any of your defense stats. Just and you same with the boots. Boost. Yeah, so you're I probably do... better off. I do like that it reflects on the character. That's that's a fairly rare oh, thing I with a lot of these things. I love that. Sadly, it's rare. But yeah. I, I feel like that should be the standard. Like, like understandably, but that. sadly, I should say. It's a little touch that... Like, I appreciate that so much. Oh, can you charge us here? No, it looks like the only weapon that can be charged in terms of attacks is the, uh... is the greatsword. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw the tip glint it and for a second. I thought maybe you held down the button and, like, got charged no. out of it. No, no. It, it looks like the only weapon that has a charge attack is the greatsword, sadly. Okay. But, I mean, that makes sense for the greatsword. There's my first death, and I guess that's where yeah. all of my currency stuff ends up. Um, okay, so with that in mind, I don't have any other of those, uh, grafting things. I'm not sure how I feel about how the enemies can tank through everything like this. Like, I realize there's a posture meter for a reason with those kind of things, but... Maybe if I swap to the greatsword, this might be alleviated. I mean, I think the Execution Blade is probably a bit more situational of a weapon. But the sheer amount of power you can do, and it looks like it breaks defense, probably is the benefit of it. Because it yeah. has that shield breaker effect on top of an enemy after you hit them. Yeah, not to mention that, you know, 
I can easily just dodge away attacks and just peck at him with a great sword. Yeah. It's slow, but so long as you don't miss, there's no real downside. Right. Now, so long as you don't stand in the middle of two enemies. That too. Because enemies don't seem to tank, don't seem to have any kind of stun with magic. Yeah. It looks like the only weapon you have that's actually able to hit multiple enemies is the spear. Ah, I can do a last second turnaround. There you go. That's good to know, actually. Ooh, I like that little flame effect you have now. Yeah, that's I'm like if I kill enough... Cool. That seems to be like if I kill enough enemies, then I, uh... If I kill enough enemies, I get a increase to stamina regen and magic use. All right, I'm gonna just go yeah, over I here real quick. Stay away from him. Ooh, Juxtium Brute Sword. What is that? Uh, seventy-two damage slashing. Ah. Oh, that's cool looking. It's like a Krieg Messer. Yeah, it's a messer. Yeah, two hits to armor break, too. That's not bad. I kind of like this a lot. Yeah. Hmm. Damn it. Dude. One. Dude. <laughs> he had a magic pixel. Uh, like, you see him winding up. You should be rolling away. Don't. Don't gung-ho him. Do not pull a Leroy Jenkins. He can kill you. I know. It's just I like using Kriegmesser and being in the fray like that. It's kind of fun. You've seen me play games. You know I like getting stuck in the fray, but there is a time and a place. You can't always be the Doom guy. I kind of wish I had the option of directional attacks, but I could understand if this is intentional. Because yeah. if I had directional attacks, then that would be horrifically abusable. Yeah, this game with directional attacks and a spear, and you could probably find a lot of places to exploit clipping. Yeah. And, yeah, that's... Yeah, if there's anything that is proven to be the cheese factor... Of a lot of Souls playthroughs or even Metroidvania stuff, it is clipping stuff. I can literally stab you through the corner of a wall. I'm going to do that. There we are. Gonna heal up. But yeah, I like this way more than the Great Sword. I'd probably enjoy that one, too, from what I'm seeing. Alright, I'm just moving past this. Yeah, that's what I'd suggest, man. Getting your ass beat. All right, what's this? Another hunter's garb. Okay. I I reflexively went to the D pad to try and move again. Ooh, hello, hidden wall. What have we got here? Mask of Shepherdness. <laughs> That's what you call a good group attack. Lovely. And that is Sullen Flakes. Is there any lore attached to those? Shreds of Solon infused cobalt scrapped 
scraped off an ancient object. The precious material can be extracted and used to upgrade weapons. Harvested from the stars that fall from beyond the twin realms, Solon resin is one of the few known substances not created by the gods. It is so rare, craftsmen are usually stuck using impure uh, scraps from older weapons. So, from the sounds of it, it seems like man-made materials are rare? Yeah. Or and those scraps are so it's essentially like the equivalent of recycling broken weapons if i if i'm if that's what i'm led to believe with this when he's about to drop that shield you you get out of the way dude oh my god he could have got you there i know i played a little fast and loose with that Ooh. Question is, where's my next uh, heal station? Sure, that's the real. Question. Oh, that's because cool what, looking! Oh, that look at that! Boss. I like that. And boss time. Nope. No, no. Hello. Actually, you do this one. <laughs> Hello. Are you a knight? Oh. Blessings to Juxtia. At last. What? <coughs> Who isn't a gibbering lunatic or fanatical hunter? I was starting to fear there were none left. Hmm. Have you come to free our Saint Trillium? Tis about time he's been sealed within that keep for far t <gasps> too long already. They entrusted me with protecting the last remaining key to that place. But there's <coughs> little I can do with it at the moment. Yeah, considering you're literally impaled on a tree. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Take it. Set our saint free. So he can finally fight back against... <coughs> against this hideous... Tarnishing. Okay. But that is a cool design. That is a cool oh, looking yeah, dude, that, though. Yeah, he's pretty much just a giant centaur skeleton dude. A giant Nothing centaur deer. Yeah. Oh, level up. Okay. Oh! Oh, this is nice. Um, let's see. And it has the, uh, costs of the, uh... At least I think that's what the costs are? Or no, that's what the actual number is for them. How much will this it cost, then? It increases your defense from, like, one to two. Oh, no, it ha Okay, no. So the grade number below the, uh, red bar there, that's how much is um, needed for the level up. So I can actually oh, level God. up a few times. Yeah. So I think I'm going to take uh, regeneration because I'm dodging a lot. Okay. Uh, I'd actually take strength because some of your two hit weapons sometimes require that third hit. But if you were doing just a little bit more, I think you could get two hit kills. What do you think of this? Two, two, three, two. I think that's a pretty good deal. I can afford to do more, but... I, but I think I'll be okay, at least for now. And this is where I... equip these things, so they'll be like passive buffs. Uh, and I don't know how to upgrade the weapons, but I guess that's something that's done in the final game. We might get a tutorial of it later. Maybe. We'll see. In any case, that, that's good. Getting that level up is nice. Alright. What have we got here? Soldier Knuckles! Ooh! Ooh.
Let's take a look at those, actually. Okay. Uh, it's a straight into an uppercut. Yeah, okay. So I guess That's it's just... Basic. Yeah, basic. There we are. And that leads us back to here. Welcome back. Have you discovered by, uh, any means by which we could enter the keep? My saint was waited, has waited long enough, such a long time alone and trapped. No fate befitting a hero. I don't know, will that do it? Okay, she doesn't say anything new. Okay. Let's take a look. Wrong direction. There you go. Okay, she doesn't do too much damage. Bang. There we are. Can I go in that way? No. The yeah. the uh, red the red flowering there made me think that was like a hidden wall section or something. Yeah, it looked kind of inset, so. Is this a heal spot? Yes, it is. There you go. Okay, so there's a difference between, like, actual checkpoints where I can level up and just spots where I can heal. Good to know. Ow! Am I on heal? Oh, you trying to do a cool Artorius flip? Looks like she was. Ow. Okay. You got on that one. Yeah, so these enemies yeah, these enemies are getting tougher. Maybe I should have gotten more level ups. Ooh, rapier! I want to see that. Let me take a look. Let me take a look. Let me take a look. Oh, that's so fast! And with four hits, the lower damage may level out. Alright, I'm swapping what now? Oh, man. Damn it, wrong direction. Backed into that a corner, but there, man. but that rapier did really well at at a uh, breaking down that knight's uh, oh, that knight's it. armor. So if I, do. I like this rapier a lot, it's pretty good. Go. It's it's pretty it's pretty good. I don't know why I dodged in the same direction there. I don't know what I did. But that's fine. This is, the, this is the demo. I can experiment a little bit. Fair. I think I should keep with the uh, with this sword, because the rapier does not have the damage output that I need for this. 
I mean, the rapier is good, but essentially you're using it when the armor is down. You're not trying to use it to beat down an enemy from start to finish. There we are. Heck, the way you use your lightning so much, maybe next time you do some upgrades? Up yeah. Well, I mean, I'm using the lightning because that's like... It, it's a no-cost way of getting that armor down, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's a good stun, too. Okay, at least this time you have heals in here. Right. Just painful to watch. It is. That 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 is hurting me. I I need to go back and level up. I I think I'm yeah, actually I not strong you enough. Probably put a few more levels on some things. Yeah. I. Oh wait, but I'm out of my my currency. Go respawn some mobs. I'm gonna give it one more go, and then I'll see what I'll do. I mean, I think you could probably skill your way through it, like. You could probably do this. It's just... oof. Let me just see what's this way. And this is why I prefer the D-pad stuff, because of the platforming segments. Like, when it comes to combat, that's fine, but it's when platforming's involved where, say, an input that I'm doing that is supposed to be up gets accidentally read as the side, you know? Vincent's horn. Wrong button. Uh, la, 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 Vincent's horn. A gift made from the horn of a long-dead wyvern. Strengthens the bear's health and toughness, but removes mana regeneration outside energy rushes. The wyverns uh, were some of Juxtia's most precious creations, second only to her saints. So pure were they had... So pure were they that when uh, the war began, they refused to be tainted by bloodshed, and, th and so they flew across the sea, disappearing from this world. Okay. So essentially increases my defenses and everything, but kind of doesn't... kind of uh, takes down my magic stuff a bit. Hmm. That's a that's a fair enough balance, I'd say. Yeah. Because, yeah, it is possible to skill my way through that. Just, it's just... I get kind of run out of resources, and the way that the game's combat is working with how the enemies don't exactly get hit-stunned unless their armor is broken throws me off a lot. Not to mention that these knights are very tanky. They are damage spongy. Again, anything that I'm pointing out, I'm not trying to be malicious about the criticisms or anything. This is just things that I'm observing as I play. I just... We're, I'm trying not to be harsh here. I don't want to, you know, de uh, demean the game's efforts in any capacity, because I do like what I'm playing so far. All right, let's go to a fountain. Because my... What I'm trying to do here is at the very least encourage people to give this game a shot as well as give the demo a run. And if the devs see this, maybe make some small improvements that they... That to the final version before it comes out, if that's possible. I realize that's a bit of a tall order, yeah. but it's... It's what I think could work, you know? Yeah. Okay, so it's the one above me that's the actual upgrade one. Yeah, I'm going to equip that horn to see what it does. See how much it could actually help me. I will say that the enemy screeches are really creepy, and I love it. Sound design here. Yeah, the sound design is absolutely excellent. Very nice sound design, I will say. All right, level up. 
Uh, let's go pop one there, another there, two there, and that's it. Sure you don't do magic. Or did you get magic that time? I, I, did. I picked one magic. Okay, cool. I was making sure. I'm like, eh, you might want to keep using that lightning bolt. It does help. Right. I just know... <sighs> No, stop ledge stop it. Stop ledge grabbing. There we go. Okay. Now then. Oh, she's gone. Lilith's gone. So I guess she's inside already. I'm gonna heal up a little bit, actually. God damn it. I got comboed. There we go. Okay. Get it this time. There we are. Alright. Okay. Oh my god, and there's a level up fountain right here. <laughs> Oops. Wow. Alright, let's increase dexterity a little bit. Uh... Pip up the brand damage. The yeah. brand the bramage. That bramage. And that should do it. Alright, Lilith, what do you have for us since you are distraught? Hi my Saint Tralium. Ah, so her saint must have, her saint must have gotten corrupted. Yep. All right, what's the boss design here? Blow my socks off, game. I do really like the presentation of this game. Ooh. Okay. Doing pretty good damage on him. Ow. Well, I might be a little over leveled. Maybe. <laughs> Second phase. Come on. There you go. 
There we go. Use your magic. There you go. I had no. I couldn't use my magic. I was. Oh, I didn't realize you were out of charges. Yeah. Tarnished shard, a fragment of Tralium's oath sword, still churning with the tarnishing. Channel your energy through it to drive the fragment into the ground, causing an eruption of power. Cool. Oh, so it's a full-on super attack. Oh! Okay. That's awesome! Alright, I'm gonna get my heals back. That is cool! So the bosses each give you a new super attack. You got anything to say now that I killed your saint? You actually managed to do it. My saint. Even if he couldn't resist the tarnishing, what hope do the rest of us have? Alright, let's level up. Uh, arm. Armor. Yeah. But yeah, that was a cool. Still that was a, some close calls, but that was a nice fight, though. Yeah, it really was. But yeah, that that attack is cool. I really like it. And I'm guessing the four pips next to the uh, to the shard is like, hey, uh, this shows you how strong your attack could be. Tralium, my saint, you can rest now. I swear you'll be avenged. So, I'm guessing the four pips are like, level one is like its weakest, level four is its strongest. I have, oh, it's great sword! Oh. I have to see what this thing is like. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, I'm taking that! That's a cool sword. See what his armor is, too. I'll give it a look at, uh, right now, actually. I think I'm safe enough. Uh, a fragment of the... Oh! That's right, lore description. There was once a child of Juxtia, a saint, who was a beloved hero to his people. When the tarnishing overtook the home he swore to protect, his failure drove him into an enraged madness, and he was sealed within the, his keep by his own plagued servants. Okay, so... Just, like, a knight unable to protect his people got him angry and he was like I he was he just went insane so it's plus one to just about everything but minus one on speed and magic I want to at least see what it looks like yeah okay not as epic on the boss but still pretty cool looking dude I think it looks really good on you oh thank you I made it out of I made it out of foam specifically for this renaissance fair a Warhammer. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. Did you see yeah. that damage? Yeah. You saw that damage number, right? It I'm was excited. It Wind that thing up and bang. Oh, once I, I'm gonna line that up on an enemy just to see. Dude, man, that looks way too cool not to. The siege tunnels. Okay. They're pointing me that way. That's that's where the restrooms are. Something like that. The restrooms are that way. Make sure to... Uh, make sure that you always wash your hands before returning to work. And sadly, no, we do not use paper towels. Really? A hal They're just giving halberd. me a sh A halberd, really? Oh, that's nice. If there's... I, I am loving the weapon variety here. Actually, wait, are they just straight up giving me all of the different weapon types, right? Maybe. Really? I figure out what the whole build out is and like later in the game when you can upgrade weapons and stuff that's what's locked off from the demo I guess so I just find that kind of odd because typically when we've played Metroidvanias on this show we've done it 
and they give you maybe like two or three weapons to play with. But I didn't think they'd give us the whole goddamn roster. Oh, hello. Same. Oh, hello there. Happen to know anything about spec craft machines? No? I didn't think so. Name's Arga. I'm a researcher of sorts, but that's not especially important. What's damn important is whatever's on the other side of that wall. See those markings? Those are v vo voidal... Voidal sigils. Voidal sigils. Or from sigils. Voidal yeah. sigils from the fog sea surrounding the kingdoms. I dragged this old war machine to help excavate, but the damn thing is missing half its components. Say, you look like you could get things done... Like a get things done sort? Why not help me out? I'll give you a share of whatever's inside if you do. I need a fuel cell to get this thing working again. You see any of those around? You let me know. Uh, I think I can afford another level up, so... Pip strength? If anything, maybe deck so you can swing that hammer a little faster. Oh, th no, that, hammer's, that hammer is stuck the way it is. The only thing that... Fair enough. The only way that that thing is scaling up in any capacity is with strength. I I can swing the let's, oath sword let's faster. Let's that thing just uh, blow up a bunny. All right. Jordan likes to obliterate rabbits. Apparently. All right. Let's take a... A lever. Oh, you're a more humanoid dude. Oh, hell no. Nope. <laughs> yeah, that... <laughs> yeah, you turned around. Um, I don't know if you actually have enough time to now line him up. You might need to use the sword. Well, I mean, yeah. Oh, they have bombs, too. That's lovely. I did it. Probably not successfully, but I did it. I mean, considering how many hits they took from the sword, though, the fact that you took out like a quarter of his health in one hit with the hammer, that's a good sign. Yeah, but sadly... <laughs> Uh, hey, 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 before you change it out, can you jump off that ledge and smack somebody in the head with that hammer? Delium soldiers, they're still here after all these years. No, because there's... Because I imagine the air attack for this... Actually... Well, that didn't work. A shot though, but I mean, hey, it takes a quarter out of that dude's health every time, so. Okay, so you gotta be like pixel perfect on the end of that swing. Yeah. Oh, that's sad. Like. Yep, that, that's not yeah, gonna work. You, you have to connect like pixel perfect, and yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, that, that's just not. It's not the reward is not worth the risk there, despite that mm. nice two o four look. Yeah. So I think what I'll do is go with the halberd. All right. But yeah, this is pretty substantial. I figured the demo would have ended at the. Uh, at the uh, boss fight from earlier, but I guess, but I guess not. Don't fight her. Just run. But 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 destroying enemies is fun. Look, I agree with Conan and say that the best thing in life is crushing your enemies. But dude, you can't crush your enemies if you're dead. All right, what's this way? Hopefully a fountain, please. Just watch, it's the last boss for this demo. Oh no, it's this guy. Oh, cool, tech priest. Ah, ha 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 ha, there you are again. Been getting some use from my gifts, I hope. Here, another brand for you, unique one. Take it, empower yourself. 
And remember, knowledge fades, memory fades, but a brand that lasts forever. Morning Star. Well, I don't have the MP to use it. So that can wait. Yeah. Oh, hello. There you go. Yeah, what you need as a brand is vampirism. Or for that to happen. Mm -hmm. They've got like a sort of a short spear thing going on with their weapon. Yeah. I can use the Morningstar ability. Yeah, I can. Also, see what that lever do. I can't, because th that opens up the shortcut. Ah. Oh, okay, that's good. Uses up all my mana, but that's nice. So you get an AoE and a uh, strong just hit. Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty substantial uh, brand. That's actually really nice. All right, I'm just going to skip past most of these guys. Yeah, no, I say, dude, just run. <laughs> Save your heals. Get out of there. Okay, so I imagine if I have the blue fire thing around the icon of the brand, I can use it. But if I don't, I can't. At least that's my uh, theory about it. Sense. All right, I want to check what's over this way. Morning, lady statues. I forgot I had it swapped to Morningstar. At least I'm getting their armor. Yeah. Okay, so that just loops back to... Oh, wait, no. Where does this take me? Oh, somewhere dark? Somewhere I up. Oh. Okay, so some crappy spiders. Crappy spiders. Okay. Do the spiders? We crush them with a hammer. Well, I mean, they are good for taking care of mosquitoes, at least. Yeah, okay, I'll give you that. All right. Actually, let me check my map. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is a very extensive demo. It's as extensive and good as Dragon Quest XI. Yeah, that, I, I can say for certain it's always good to have your demos be big because it gives you a good... It gives your players a good sense as to what they're looking forward to, but wow. Like, this is definitely more than I expected. And I can definitely applaud the devs for that. Because I've got... I've now gone through two big areas. Or, I've gone through one... Fairly standard, I guess, sized area. And this is... And this also... Ow. And this also, uh, adding to it, is making it pretty substantial. So, that's nice. I like it. It's very, it's very convenient. Or, not convenient, it's very, it's very pleasing. Yes. Pleasing to have. And yeah, it's, it's platforming challenges like this that make me prefer to have D-pad controls. Because, um, it just makes it... It just makes it easier for me to now. maneuver. Manic's, manic Goblet. 
Hmm. Okay, that's probably some kind of equipable item. Yeah, from the looks of it. Check it out. Uh, okay, here. A dented goblet rusted and beaten with age. Increases damage during energy rushes, but reduces stamina regeneration. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh, I don't, I don't care for that. <laughs> okay. A Juxtia brand. It is said that the goddess herself uses spec projected weapons in combat, though few could confirm such tales. Okay, so that's... What is that all that was here, or was I missing something else? I think that's... Oh, nope. What's over here? Heal station, please, thank you, yes. And what's over here? Wow, this is... Yeah, for a demo map, this is pretty nice. Mm. What have we got here? S more of those flakes. More, more frosted flakes. Iframes! Iframes! I-frame. I love iframes. They're fantastic. Mm -hmm. Aren't iframes the best? They are pretty damn great. Oh, what is this? So, boom. Oh, that... Ooh, you look cool! What? Oh, my, my. Isn't this an unfortunate situation you've stumbled into? What's a scurrying little insect like yourself doing all the way down here in the dark? You should be more careful. Something might decide to make a meal out of you. A quite fortuitous for you that I am not that something. Your shell has too many sharp edges for you to be worth my while. It's like whenever you have chicken and waffles. If you're not prepared enough, you'll have cuts on the inside of your mouth. Thanks. And besides... I think you'll be much more useful uneaten. All the bodies you've murder you murderous beetles leave behind, they make my huts far easier. So maybe we can reach a mutual understanding. Those thin fraying webs around your body, they ensure your survival, I'm assuming. How frail they look. How easily I could unravel you. I can weave you more, increase the amount you carry. Perhaps it'll help you make more meals for me. If not, well, I'm hardly on the brink of starvation. It's rare that I release those who tangle themselves in my silk. I'm sure we'll meet again in the future. Oh! I got another pip! I got another healing pip! So that's nice. So she's who I go to for healing pips. Oh, you look cool! Yeah, got a moon knife. All right. Well, I think when I find the next fountain, I'm going to probably end because we're almost at an hour. And... Yeah, as I said, this demo is actually fairly substantial. Or at least I'll go until I die next. Ow, ow! Which may be soon. Okay, so that does travel really far. Yeah, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it does stun. Well, I guess I'll keep my word on that. Either way, um, yeah, th this is this is substantial and this is cool. So, pretty neat game. Yeah, very neat game. Uh, hopefully, you all enjoyed this demonstration. 
Uh, sorry to cut it off preemptively like this, but the, it is quite large, and we like to at least keep these relatively concise. So hopefully you enjoyed this, and if you have any other demos you'd like to recommend to us, sound them off in the comments, and we'll uh, be sure to give them a look-see. So yeah. with that said, take care of yourselves, everybody. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Basta. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Open Couch Gaming for more uh, uh, video game antics.